must be having a poo. Ah! Found me. Hi, dude. Hi. Good afternoon guys, I hope you're all well. I've just got home from work. I better shut this door, it's cold. Yes, the house is still cold. <laughs> so yes, I've got a few updates for you. One, my toe. It turns out I exaggerated a little. When they did the surgery on my toe, they didn't take the entire nail out. They just took a portion of it out. The part what was doing the digging in into my toe that's the part they took out and then they injected that stuff into it to kill that root and today is the first time i'm actually feeling a little bit of pain i went on saturday to have it checked out and apparently they've never seen a toe heal as quick as mine i don't know maybe i've got some superman genes in here somewhere i don't know <laughs> but she changed the bandage that's when I discovered that I still had a toenail and she said keep that on for a few more days and then take it off which I did on Monday and then start having like hot water with salt in it and just dipping it in so what I've been doing since Monday well I said that it's been two days is while I've been sat in front of the TV after I've had my food I'll get a bowl of hot water out put salt in it stick both my feet in it now because I, I actually have sort of cracked feet they're very very dry they've been like that for years and i thought you know what i'll just see what happens if i start putting both feet in and i'm starting to notice the cracks are starting to i don't i don't know if they're going away or i'm just giving it moisture you know essential water i guess the the less dry let's put it that way I, I don't know we'll see if that actually is a thing or it's just my imagination but yeah when i put my toe in at first it I don't want to go into too many details, but let's just say there was like scabby stuff in there. The water clears that up. So it's looking good. Right now all I'm doing is wearing a plaster. And I can wear my black trainers, which is good. So yeah, I'm on the mend on that one. But when I say I felt some pain today, it was very minute. I barely noticed it, to be quite honest. But there you go. You know what? I've said it's cold. I'm actually very, very warm right now. Hold on a second. Take my hoodie off. I think it's because I've just had a shower at work, so... Yeah, that's the bowl I've been using. Oh, by the way, have you noticed I've tidied this side up? It doesn't look it at the moment because of that is in the way. I moved it there because this morning I had to put them on again. It was freezing this morning. Seriously, I, I got in the car and it was reading minus three. <laughs> yeah, um, yeah. The other thing, boiler. The guy came round on Monday and he took one look at my boiler and he said, I'm not touching that. <laughs> I don't blame him. Um, so we started talking about a new boiler being put in. He says he can't put one back in there because it's too low. And then he was looking around and he's like, you don't really have many places to put one, do you? And I'm like, no, not really. Then he looked upstairs in one of the cupboards and he was talking about, putting one up there but he said it would cost a lot because you know the pipes have to go up there and then and you know where it like goes outside it'd have to go through the loft and through the roof which like he says costs a lot of money so i said to him how about the cupboard under the stairs he says well it's not that big is it and when he looked he was like oh so he started pulling up this carpet and noticed it was all wood and he's hoping and he's asked me to have a look which i'm going to do today that's if i can we'll see as you can see i've already had it up once but hopefully we can find out if it's hollow under here and if it is it can feed the gas pipes through there and have the boiler here on this back wall which would mean the pipes would have to feed through here so i don't know if that means getting rid of this box or whatever we'll see it's all down to whether or not it is actually hollow under there i think it is and he has quoted me um quite a price I'm, i don't want to mention it but i have the money but it just means no holiday to los angeles this year if i do it unfortunately 
Still gonna Paris though. We've we've already got all that booked and everything. I just need my spending money. Oh, are you waiting for me to take you out? You're gonna have to wait a bit longer. We have visitors coming. I lied. It's not visitors. It's visitor. Just the one. Just the one. She's brought a vacuum cleaner with her. What are you doing? Nah. She's offered yeah. to clean my downstairs area, the living room and everything. Is it an OCD thing that you've got? Yeah, not as much. And he's still dying to go to the toilet to go out. You're gonna go pee pee. You're gonna go pee pee. Yep. Come on. Yeah, no, you am too. Good, because he pees all over me all the time. <laughs> Holly, do you want to go to the field? Yep, there's the magic word. So while Trin's tidying up my house, I'm making it a mess. As you can clearly see. Thing is, right, I've pulled up all this obviously. I don't know what the people who used to live here has done, but they've basically glued these down on top of this wood. But I think this wood, judging from that gap, is on top of other wood. And the other thing is, that's hollow. That's not so hollow. Uh, I don't know. It's going to be a messy job. I'm glad I'm not a boiler man. <laughs> now I've got to pull that back together. It's a shame I can't pull this up to find out what's underneath it. It's not like I own a crowbar or anything to pull that up. I don't know. This is why I don't do DIY. And that's a script printing out. At least I hope it is. It's telling me I'm out of black ink. Oh, hardly seen a cat. Go on then. Tell him to get off your garden. Probably him giving you fleas. <laughs> I don't actually know what he'd do if he ever caught a cat. I don't think he'd do anything nasty. He'd just want to play with them. Anyway. Eh, it's alright. I can read that. It's actually a full page, it's about my boiler. <laughs> Trin's doing a really good job by the way. That actually sounded sarcastic, it's not. Check it out. There's no fluff on the floor. A lot of dusting's been done. That's clean. <laughs> Radiator's clean. Look at this floor, look at it. It's beautiful, look at it. In here, I put all that back by the way. Do, 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 do. I'm talking to the camera. <laughs> Just showing them how good everything looks. You enjoying yourself? Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. Crazy. Mind you, I love my ironing, don't I? So... Oh, he's just been thanking Trin. <laughs> Haven't you? Yeah. Like, thank, thank you for tidying. Thank you. Thank you. Can, can I go with you? <laughs> he would as well, you know. <laughs> kiss, 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 kiss. Mm -hmm. yeah. Thank you, Trin. Nah. You're welcome. Bowl of water time. For those of you who don't like looking at tours, you might want to look away now. There's my tour right now. Doesn't look very nice, but uh, never mind. It's not actually hurting right now. Let's see what happens when I put it in the water, though. And it's very, very hot this time. Hopefully I'll not drop you in from, you know, agonising pain. <laughs> there we go. Ah, that's actually quite nice, to be honest. It's full of salt. I'll give it a once over. Oh, look at that, I'm dripping all over already. And the other foot as well. It's also a nice way of keeping warm, by the way. Just to point out. And I'll leave it in there for maybe 45 minutes to an hour while I'm watching the TV it's great and again still no pain although it is very very hot ah well ah my feet feel so soft now I get to let my toe air out for a bit now before I put another plaster on which I've started doing just before I go to bed but hopefully it will heal pretty quick and then maybe I might actually start going out running don't hold your breath on that one. I mean, you could tell I'm lazy. I let people clean my house for me. <laughs> I can't get used to how spotless it is. I did ask her to clean my boiler out, see if it'll work, but no. 
Uh, yeah, I yep. think I'm going to have to spend a lot of money on that. Urgh. Somebody's tired. No. <laughs> I can't sneak upon him. <laughs> He's giving me that look to say, just leave me alone. Anyway guys, it's time for me to go. Until the next time, peace out. Oh, it's on me again. <laughs> <laughs>